Now, who'd like to do the cool wall? Yeah. Absolutely. Now, we haven't been here for quite a while, so first thing, a little bit of housekeeping to be done, OK? And straight away, up here, the Mini. Oh, yeah. Now, it's been up there, Sub-Zero, for ages. To be honest, time and too many estate agents, I think, have kind of eroded the coolness. And I think it might... It's we not even cool anymore, this. it's down here. Yeah. Yeah. All agreed, we all agreed the Mini is now uncool. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely is. So, the Mini Cabriolet. You see, the thing is, if you've got a Mini right now, you need to keep a low profile. You're driving around in dire straits. This, um, I'm sorry, is even less cool. No, you wrong, 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 wrong. Well, no, that's perfectly no, correct. Right. I'm... This is a serious, not seriously cool, but this is a cool car. You are joking! <laughs> Let the people speak. The people are speak, OK? Yes, we're speaking. It's cute, it's quirky, and it's a good girl's car, too. Thanks a lot. That'll Wrong. do. Wrong! Listen, find anybody we else. Have a new, we have a new rule on the cool wall. Yes. James May, who eats pastry, drinks yes. brown beer, and yes. thinks a curry is exotic, yeah. thinks this is uncool. He's always wrong on matters of such things. <laughs> there, it's cool, and that's a thank you. I don't keep him boo. That's... Jeremy Clarkson, that is going to come back and haunt you. It's a cool car. It's so cool. It's a convertible Mini. You can't get cooler. <laughs> You're wrong. People are going to laugh at you for centuries. Now can we do something important? Yes. The cool wall. Oh, yes. A uh, lot of cars. We've done a lot of cars in the last few weeks. We yeah. haven't put them up. We're going to start with the Bentley Continental GT. Where do yeah. we think? So cool. So cool. So cool. No, it's... Okay, well, thank you all for your opinion. <laughs> it's cool. It is cool. Aha! Yeah. Uh -huh. However, with a proviso, as soon as you open your copy of the Sun newspaper and you see that Mr. Beckham has taken delivery of his, it's on its way down. But for now, since he doesn't have one, it's a cool car. The BMW M3 CSL. You drove it. Uh, it what? is a fantastic car. Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. Mm. What do we think? Anyone else? Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero. Sub -Zero. Sub -Zero. All so of them wrong. totally wrong. How can it be cool if you have to explain, it's my carbon roof? That is, that is not cool. That is going to be bought by the sort of man who lies awake at night thinking of his gear shift aggression strategy for the drive to work the next day. <laughs> this is not just uncool like an M3. That is... Yeah. In the... That is true. Uh, What's yeah, I've got one. The Ford Fiesta ST. We saw that earlier on in the programme. Well, now, Ooh. you see... What do we think? I'll come over here this time. What do we think on that? Uncool. Unc why? It's a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Based on this, so uh, right, Fords are fine. <laughs> Try to get a thick skull. You, what do you think? I think it's in between cool and uncool. Actually, while I'm here, City Rover, what do you think of that? Uh, are you well, actually I... an Indian? Yeah. Well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what a laugh. Yeah. It could be cool in a few weeks' time and, you know... It, it could be cool, cool in Bombay. No, it could be cool here in a few weeks' time and it's probably retro or something. Retro, retro. <laughs> or something. Because yeah. were you living... Have you ever lived in India? Yeah, I have. OK, do you remember when Rover sold you the Montego? <laughs> that is payback, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the Montego diesel. What do you think of the Ford, anyway? The... I think it's cool. You apart think it's cool? Apart from the name. Mm. The ST, yeah. or quite. Which is a problem. It's a difficult one because it's a small European hatchback, which should mean it, it goes this way, but it just doesn't. It's no, an it's XR2, not just the, isn't it? Yeah, it's now. an XR2, and it's not just. You see, the thing is, is that I'm now, they've now told me for that I'm getting the GT, so I can say what I like. <laughs> um, <laughs> you haven't. That's leave it cool. There. Yeah. Right, first car, Mazda RX-8. You drove it earlier on in the program. Yeah. Four door, four seat, coupe. Yeah. It's trying hard. It's a coupe, but I think that's a cool car, personally. Yeah. In agreement. What do you think? It's comfortable to sit on. Yeah, no. Oh, you're really sick. Oh, come on, you're really sick. Brilliant. Cool car? Cool car. Cool yeah, car? Cool car. No, yeah. wrong. It... What? <laughs> no, not cool. Unfortunately, not cool because you know those baggy knicker curtains people have in houses? It's like. <laughs> It's trying too hard. They're good at keeping the light out. They look ridiculous. They see, the not... Nissan's trying hard. I think that's... I no, think I'm not interested in your argument. You're not interested? <laughs> that alone is cool, I reckon. Rotary engine. You would have to explain... 
Somebody's going to say to you eventually, what is a Wankel engine? You're going to say, well, it's two cylinders with two, like, triangular pistons. That, how cool's that? But you get to say, Wankel. That's cool. <laughs> On telly. Maserati Quattroporte, what do we all think? Let's ask you. Uncool. Uncool. I don't like the Uncool. front of it. Uncool, you think? Definitely cool. Cool. It's British car. Cool. Cool, you think? <laughs> Got a theory, you've got a theory on this. Cool. 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 Why did I ask him? Well, I've no idea. <laughs> I just, I no, I I no, you're not a cool man. You're just, you know, you're worse than me. Um, <laughs> it is cool. I mean, basically, the thing is, if you drive a big Merc, basically, you look like a taxi driver, yeah? Yeah. If you drive a BMW, you look like a drug dealer. Yeah. Drive a, if you drive a Jag, it looks like you might play golf from time to time. You yeah. drive that, freeze nitrogen. That is verging on super cool, yeah. that thing. Very and definitely. I don't even like the look of it, all the gearbox, all the ride, but there we are. <laughs> right. Shall we move on? Another car. The Ford Sport Car. Has anyone got a car here? Yeah. This is the sport car that James drove last week, right? He raced a pigeon with it, OK? He <laughs> did. The thing is, is it's undoubtedly a sweet car. It is sweet. Certain rules with it. One, it's a Ford, so that counts it out from cool. Second, it's not French, because all French cars are cool, little C2s. We've got the Fiesta here because the picture was taken in Paris. Yeah. That's why it's that's there. <laughs> Because, you see, the thing about the French is, they're cool, but they're not sweet. You don't say to a French waiter, sweet guy. No, you're... So, basically, it's, if it were a sweet board... This is be getting up... advanced now. Yeah, if it was sweet, and it were like sherry trifle, it would be up here, but it's not. It's a cool one. So, consequently, an uncool car. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. BMW 6 Series. Hmm. What do we think of that? Cool, cool. We think this is a cool car. And it's a first. It's the first cool BMW on our wall. Right, here's one that I drove, and this is a truly awesome car. The Porsche 911 GT3. Fabulous! Uncool. Let's no, just work. Yeah, well, well, why is this uncool? It's just a 911. It's all 911s are uncool. Oh, now you're just dumb. You think? I <laughs> 911s suck. I like some of what this audience is saying today. No, they're, they're in. Uncool. Go uncool. somewhere else, Jeremy. Absolutely. They're all super cool. Thank you, sir. He's coming in all black rugby shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the back. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Seriously cool. Seriously, seriously, seriously cool. cool. Seriously cool. How interesting that the girls are wrong and the blokes have got it wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's a brilliant car, but it's got no back seat. It's just got a load of scaffolding and roll let bars. Me put you it have to, you, to explain Let me it. put it to you this way. I come to take you out in one of these one night. Okay, you say to me, why has it got all that scaffolding in the back seat and the ironmongery? I'd have to explain that to you. How interesting do you think that'd be? Very. Oh, dear. I Go out with you. <laughs> Fine. You see, the thing is... You'd make the second date. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch! <laughs> moment, new series, and it's the return of The Cool Wall. I'm very pleased. It's, uh, it's brilliant to see it back. Let's get some new stuff on the wall. And first of all, we saw it earlier on, The City Rover. Now, we, well, we are agreed it's cool. rubbish, yes. I mean, the problem is it's not even a real rover, so it's actually trying to be something that's uncool anyway, which, frankly, it's got to be... Is it, is it uncool or is it... Is it seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're not, uh, normally, I like to argue with the audience, go around, have a bit... No, <laughs> yeah. you're right. That is seriously uncool. Is. Uh, what's that? Uh, it's the Daihatsu Gopen. Anyone got any thoughts? It's an expensive shoe. It is an expensive <laughs> shoe. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love the way that these people come along and comment on style. <laughs> that's a twirl. That's, that's terrific. Lord. It's great, isn't it? In kind of every way. An it's expensive kind of shoe. It's, yeah, well, you'd need to buy a pair, definitely. He's so right, though. He He's is right, so right. right. Uncool. I tell you what, I have got one little thing I've got to do this week. If I may. <laughs> ha! I know what that means. 
<laughs> Was anybody watching that week? Did you uh, expect if anything If I buy soon? one, it's coming up the board. So, according to how far you are down the process of buying it, it's yeah. gonna... Well, I've put my name down, so it's, it's, it's there. <laughs> when the order's accepted, it'll be about here. And then when I need to sell it, we'll be having it around about here. And then when anybody sees you in it, it'll be right away back down here again, presumably. I've had enough of this call wall, this week. I'm sick of the well, I think we should go and talk to James. Yes. Well, you should. Yes. Do you think he's still here? James. James? Right, the Italians. What have they ever done for us? Here is the Fiat Barchetta. Now, this, it's going to fall apart. Every time you drive it, you're going to be stopping to get out and pick up bits that have dropped off. But that's why it's cool. It's got a kind of shabby charm. Work with me on this. It has. <laughs> There's a lot of blank looks. It has. It's a brave choice. It's a cool car. <laughs> What, who said it's still a Fiat? <laughs> What's it, wrong with a Fiat? They're not good. They're, they're French. <laughs> Where the hell do we get this audience from? Gardening programme, mate, that's what it is. Do you know is. what Fiat stands for, the I in it? Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to suggest? We've got a few more to get through here, mate. I'd keep my mouth shut. <laughs> if I were you. Oh, dear. Now then, Ford GT, the new one. That's a chicken. Now, let, me hear, let me hear some opinions on this. What do you think? Sub-zero. Sub-zero? Sub-zero. Sub-zero. No, we've got one over here. Seriously uncool. Needs to be in light blue and orange. Yeah, but... I'll be sub-zero. OK, if it were light blue and orange, you're referring to the golf colours. Absolutely. I can match your anorak levels here <laughs> easily. Thank you. Then it would be OK. It would be sub-zero. Sub-zero if you get the colours right. It's a good point. Anyone over here got opinions on the Ford GT? It's a very cool car. Very cool. It's very cool. Very cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Not a democracy here. You no, cool? you're wrong! <laughs> no, that, that's wrong. Now, look, if this were a Ferrari... I think we'd... Well, I'd be with you. They might disagree. But it's not a Ferrari. It's got a kind of retro... something. It's like those 70s shades with the holes down the side and the big... It's cool. That is a cool car. If you were to turn up to someone's house in a red American car with white stripes down the side, they'd pretend to be out. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about the Starsky and Hutch car. This is a retro supercar. It's essentially cool. <laughs> right. There is just one proviso on that. If I buy one, it'll be moving up a bit. Funny that. All right. Funny that. The cool wall. Where do we hey, think? Hold on a minute. <laughs> and Jeremy, all the Fords have moved to Sub Zero. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, it's a fluid thing, the cool wall. As you know, it's never anything fixed. And I thought, I looked at them, I thought they're nice cars. Really? I'll tell you what, they're moving back. It's that fluid. That's ridiculous. No, look, you I want to make it absolutely plain I'm not doing this. If anybody's watching from like Dagenham, I'm not <laughs> yeah, responsible yeah. for that, okay? Let's move on. The Holden. Monaro, Vauxhall Monaro, as it will be. What do we think? Cool. Cool? cool. Well, I'm going to ask, I'm going to canvas the opinion of people who dress properly. What do you oh, think? Excellent. Cool, makes a nice noise. Cool car, even though it's Australian. We'll give them a little yeah, well, something. they can't play rugby. And you? Uh, coolish. You think it's coolish? OK, Ish. well, does anyone think it's not cool? Really? Well, let's come and have a word with this chap. Why is it not cool? Uh, it looks like Knight Rider, 45 years on. <laughs> yes, but you see, what I love about this car is it has no styling. No, there's no pretensions about it. And there? you know exactly, you don't have to explain anything with no. it. So I'm going to put it in the cool section, no doubt about it. Right, this is, a, this is a very easy one. Oh, that, I Ferrari, agree again, very easy. Ferrari 612 oh. Scaglietti. Oh. Now, this is a sophisticated, elegant, four-seater Ferrari, places the 456, absolutely beautiful. This clearly is cool, if not sub-zero. As we said in the last series, this was styled, and I'm not joking, by a man called Ken. 
That is a problem. Now, oh, Ken is a good name if you're a football referee. It's a good name if you're a plasterer. No, but a Ferrari designer, no. it's not cool. No, there's been some cool Kens down there. Name a cool Ken. Yes. Um, Ke Ken Hom. Ken, Ken, uh, Ken Livingston. Ken oh, thanks for helping me out. Must case yeah. rest. Anyone, can anyone think of a cool Ken? Oh. Kenny Ball. It's getting worse. This is really oh, different. Wait a minute, we've got one over here. Well, actually... Who? Bobby and Ken. Bobby. Bobby and Ken. He doesn't even have a penis. <laughs> <laughs> he has a mound. It's styled by Ken. That makes it uncool. But I think we could solve this. If maybe you are a Ken and you think you're cool. So write to us at... There might be. I'm a... <laughs> well, send, us right. a I'm a, send us a photo of yourself being cool to I'm a Ken and I'm cool. Top Gear. Yeah. Wood Lane, London, W12. I don't know the rest. Something... Some, seven TS. Well, let's Please. do the cool war, shall we? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Porsche Carrera GT came here last week, as you know. Blitz Star Track. Fabulous car. 119.8, fastest thing ever. Yeah, brilliant car. <laughs> what are we saying? Sub zero, definitely. Sub zero. Sub zero. Sub zero. Sub zero. All I'm with the message. wrong. No! Oh, yeah. Tell me. <laughs> it's vulgar. Listen to them, they're right on. It's not it's a vulgar. vulgar car. It's beautiful. If you turn up to pick up Kristen Scott Thomas in that, she's going to say, you're showing off. Yes, yeah, she is. You're and right. you're going to go, I am, actually. It's just a hypercar. Disagree. None of those hypercars can be cool. Do you want to do your tall hatchbacks? Oh, yeah, we've got to do the tall hatchbacks. All right, then. You know, we talked about them the other day. Now, hatchbacks, if they're small and European, we kind of quite like them, can't find any now. There's a little Fiat there, a little French car, a uh, little Renault. <laughs> Made in Milan, that one. Yeah. Uh, these we think are quite cool. Yeah. Ford C Max. I think it is. Uh, <laughs> like it. Is it that bad? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I've got a, I think it's another one. A Toyota Corolla Verso again. <laughs> yes. That is uncool. <laughs> anyway, this, it's Ferrari, right? Ferrari, yes. Lamborghini Gallardo, all right? What do we think? Cool. Cool. Cool? cool. Sub-zero. Sub-zero. Sub what are you... Oh, your hair's exploding. <laughs> yes. Uncool. Uncool. Ugly. Oh, why? Very ugly. Very ugly. Very. Mind you, ugliness yeah, isn't... That's, that can be cool. It can be cool to drive an ugly car. The thing is about this one, though, if I may just... Uh, Raise it. It's cool if you're an 11 year old boy. Yeah, and it's cool if you're like an aging rock star. Well, it's your own test. You pitch up at Kristen Scott Thomas's place, open the door. When she looks in, you are 11. Yes. I mean, you actually are there as an 11 year old yes. boy. No, oh, yeah, that's yeah, not, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Can we just talk about uh, people carriers for a while? Obviously. Oh, my word. All of them are uncool. If you buy a people, anyone got one? You have. Basically, what you're saying about yourself, sir, is you've had your children and now you're just waiting to die. Yeah. <laughs> However, the Renault Espace here is cool. It is. It just... It's, it's what? very, very ugly. Are you a policewoman? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So, as I was saying, it's very, very cool. Because <laughs> I can do that in here. <laughs> However, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's the new 5 Series. Right, let's just see you run around the room on it. What do you reckon? Um, seriously uncool. Seriously uncool? Quite uncool. Quite uncool? Cool. Cool. Do you play golf? Yes. Do you play golf? Yes. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this car will be bought almost entirely by people who play golf, ergo... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So what about this, then? McLaren? Well, oh, SLR? Seriously. Sub Zero? Uncool. Uncool. Wrong. Cool. Yeah. Hang on. You agree? Hang on a minute. You agree? Yeah, I think it's cool. You think it's cool? Yeah. What did you... You've it's got, cool. Have you got an opinion on anything? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Who said it was uncool? Yeah. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you think it's uncool? Because it's as vulgar as the Porsche. In fact, it's less good-looking than the Porsche. I saw it going around the yeah. track and it's ghastly. He's so wrong. Just hang on a second. According to these new, again, added rules of cool, according to Clarkson, you said 
hypercars like this and like that are uncool. So according to what you've just said, it belongs down. I mean, if you turn up to pick Kristin up in that, she's going to think it's a Merc, like a C-class diesel. No, no you she's have to a me. <laughs> you have to be a monumental car bore to know that's a McLaren. You yeah, do. It's as, it's as spangly as a giant disco glitter ball. Look at it's it. Cool. It's cool. It's cool and that's an end. The thing it's is, the end. But <laughs> it's the end. Oh, the discussion. Oh, he's scary close up. <laughs> but you're Move talking on, I'm rubbish. You, that is a cool car. You, who's that? You're right. It's a cool car because that looks like a normal. It's automatic. It's got boots. Absolutely. It's fine. It's rubbish. It's the same as that. <laughs> it's the same as a sit. To, to my mother, those two cars she are indistinguishable. See. <laughs> She's. It's what? The other one's uncle, that one Thank is uncle Thank you. As well. Absolutely right. <laughs> this is a mutiny and you're going to end up on an island. <laughs> you made up the rule. I made up the cool wall and now you're just <laughs> applying your own rules. OK, two more cars. These are the ones I drove earlier in the programme. These little fashion accessories, the 307cc and the Renault Megane CC. You're pulling a face. What are you saying? Because I've had them both. <laughs> You've had them both? No, but you see, you haven't had them both. They're both brand new. Oh, no. <laughs> old ones are them both. No, there are no old ones. They've only just both. done them. <laughs> They're new. What, you've, had the, you've had the hatchbacks. Ever wished you hadn't started something? <laughs> uh, you had the convertibles before the metal roofs, the last models of them. And did you like them? Awful. Awful. They were fab. Fab. I couldn't get any. You two know each other? Yeah. <laughs> I just follow up. You, so you thought they were fab, you thought they were awful? We think these new ones are absolutely Dreadful. terrible. Truly awful, but... Terrible. They're cool. No. <laughs> they are! Don't argue, don't come here this and argue with us. This is the way the war... It's not... It, we're not saying they're good. That's a different thing entirely. They haven't got this yet. No, they are cool, OK, but we should explain. Because they're kind of French, they're a bit chic. Because they're fashion... In fact, already, can you hold this? Yeah. Already, you see, if you bought one then, they were cool, but now they're on the way down. They're going out of fashion. They're already. It's that then they're, quick. they're moving down again. Don't this take so long to put them on the wall, Jeremy. They're moving again. Are going. OK, is that good? Yeah. That's Anything exactly. else we ought to be shape. moving? If you move a single Ford, yeah. I'll telephone them now and I'll send them copies of everything you've said. Where's May? I don't know. Oh, over there somewhere. Which brings us on to the Ford GT. <laughs> Very nice. No. Don't anybody <laughs> pander to, to him. I'll come over just here. Just because he's getting one. I'll come over here. What do you think? Is that the one you've got? Well, I've got it. I'm guessing one. Yeah, what do you think? Cool. 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 It's cool. Cool. It's cool. Cool. In the fridge. Cool. Uncool. Uncool, because you've got one. And... You're exactly right. Yes! <laughs> that is it. No car I've got can possibly be cool. No. <laughs> And it's not just me, actually. Ford had a party the other day for the 28 people who are going to get one of these. It was like being at the Dennis Waterman Appreciation Society. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Brundle's getting one. Have you seen his trousers? Yeah. So I'm afraid it's right down, it's almost verging on... It's there. It's a shame, but it's true. That is true. It's true. I want it to arrive and start ruining <coughs> your life soon. So... That leaves us with this. Oh. Aston Martin DB9. OK? Can I hear anything other than Sub Zero? No. Any advance on Sub Zero? Sub -zero. Minus 40. Minus 40. Do you know you're all wrong? Uncool? It's not Sub Zero. Uncool. We have had to build a new section for it the DB9 section. <laughs> and it's 